I'm Stephen Kwan. I'm Becca Lesser. And we are here to conquer the kitchen this week with guacamole. Yes. The weather is getting warmer, so uh, we figured it'd be nice to have a good treat. Also, so, Cinco de Mayo is coming up, so this is a perfect true. way. You get some chips, salsa, and guacamole. It's delicious. We're going to cut open our avocado. Okay. And I don't know if you know if you've ever used an avocado before, but they have um, a pit on the inside. So and it's gonna, huge. Yeah, it's a really big seed, so it's difficult to cut around, but all you have to do, and it's really easy if um, the avocado is ripe, so you just kind of scoop it out and set it aside. All right. And then um, you can just kind of score the inside, ah. and it'll make it easier. And since these are really soft, we'll just go ahead and scoop it out. And just get as much of it as you can out into it and you can eat. So should I um, dice this? Yeah, just kind okay. of finely chop it up. Do the exact same thing with the tomato, just kind of dice it up into small pieces. What about the um, inside? You can keep that in there too. Okay. <clears throat> so, cutting jalapenos. Wearing gloves because I don't want to want to touch other stuff without burning my eyes later on. So I'll remove some of this. And then we just want to cut the lime in half and we'll use the juice from half the lime and just sprinkle it over the top. And um, do we need to put in the garlic salt? Oh, that goes in at the very end. Oh, okay. And if you don't have garlic salt, obviously you can just use a teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of salt, but it's just a little bit easier when it's already mixed together. Mm -hmm. I like that all you do is just sprinkle. sprinkle. <laughs> I get the easy job. Eh. Probably is easier with um, a knife or a fork that's not um, plastic, but we'll make do with what we have. All right, so I'm bringing this to the news desk, or sports desk, sorry. <laughs> and uh, Lance, thank you. What kind of chips do we have here? Blue corn. Blue corn, that makes for a great combination. Yes. Makes the guacamole stand out too. Yes. Let's try this. That was delicious guacamole. Mm. That was very good. I like the tomato kick to it. I got a bit of um, jalapeno, and um, it's actually not that hot. <coughs> it's not hot at all. We took out the seeds and the, uh, the white stuff on the inside. It gives it a little kick, but it's like a kick without tennis shoes. <laughs> it's a baby kick. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, I'm Stephen Kwan. I'm Becca Lesser. And we've conquered the kitchen with a really easy guacamole that we made here in uh, the newsroom. So if we can do it, you guys can do it too. I am very satisfied. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>